Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I am going to be sharing three really easy curry paste recipe ideas with you all. These three curry paste recipes are kind of my go-to curry paste and they're ones that go down a treat in my family even with our kids. Now if you want you can add more or less chili into these curry pastes. My kids can take a little bit of a spice so there is a slight kind of kick to the tongue with these pastes but like I said you can add more if you want more or you can take out the chilies completely totally up to you I really hope you enjoy these recipes let me know if you give them a try these are great to also make ahead or make in bulk and then freeze some of them as well pull them out your freezer whenever you need them let them defrost and then just pop them straight in your pan to start cooking with thanks so much for watching and let's get cooking so before we get into these recipes, I just wanted to share this little gadget that I have with you because this will make your whole curry paste making so much easier. This is a little onion dicer by Russell Hobbs. I just got it from Amazon and I'll link it down below. And it's absolutely brilliant as you'll see when I make my curry pastes. So it's just a little glass pot like this and then it's got a little plastic lid and inside it's got a blade that when you put this top on the motor and you press this little button here it blitzes everything up so finely and nicely in literally a matter of seconds this is what I always cut all of my onion garlic ginger in but when I make my curry paste I literally add everything into this glass jar and then I blitz it all up for a few minutes and it makes the best consistency paste you will see. So I just wanted to share this quickly first because it's $27.99 and it's honestly worth every single penny. I use this so so often so if you are looking for something that's similar it's going to cut down your cooking time and this is the gadget for you. So let's get straight on with these pastes and I'll show you just how good this really is. So this first curry paste I'm going to share with you is going to be for a Thai green curry. Now, with all of my curry paste, like I said, I have put a chili here, but if you want to just take that out and leave it completely, you can do. It's really adaptable, so you can make it as hot or as mild as you want. So I've got some coriander, some fish sauce. I've got this lemongrass because I feel like if I buy the sticks, I don't use them often enough to um, before they sort of start going a bit bad. So I just buy this, I have it in my fridge and I just use a little bit of it whenever I need it. I've got some olive oil. I've also got this lime pickle. Now I feel like this is a bit of a secret ingredient that is a must. It adds so much flavor to your curry paste. So it's definitely one to add. As you can see, it is a medium one here too. So if you do want it a little bit mild, then just use this and definitely leave the um, chili out because this does add a little kick to your paste. I have got two spring onions, one lime, I've got some whole cumin here that this will get blitzed up when I pop it into my little blitzer. Uh, like I said, I've got one green chili, but I will de-seed that. I've got three cloves of garlic, two shallots here, this one's just kind of fallen apart a bit, a very generous nub of ginger because I feel like this is a key ingredient and then I think I've already said my coriander too. So simply what I'm going to do is add my ginger, onion, garlic, my de-seeded chili, two teaspoons of fish sauce, one teaspoon of lemongrass, one heaped teaspoon of my lime pickle, all of these cumin seeds. I will also just roughly chop up my spring onions and my coriander and add in about three tablespoons of my extra virgin olive oil as well. Once I've added those all into my little onion dicer, I will then zest this lime into my little pot too. And then once I've done that, I will cut my lime in half and I will squeeze out all of the juice and pop that into my pot as well. Once everything's in, all that's left to do is give this a really good blitz up. As you can see, like I told you, this little dicer has blitzed it to perfection. And this is now your perfect base for a Thai green curry. Right, so this curry paste is one that I've kind of made up myself, but it's one that I use all the time when making my curries at home. And then um, what I just add to this is a tin of chopped tomatoes 
and one tin of coconut milk as well when making it and then whatever meat or veggies that you would like to put in here. So this is kind of like my go-to curry paste. I always have these ingredients in my cupboards and my fridge and my freezer. So it's just really, really easy to kind of whip up. So what I've got here is three shallots, three garlic cloves, this is like a big nub of ginger that I've just sliced into four. I've got one lime here, and then the um, powders that I'm going to be using are some turmeric, garam masala, smoked paprika, and then I've also got some curry powder here too. This is just medium curry powder. I've got salt and pepper, and then I've got 200 mils of veggie stock here too. So what I'm going to do in my little onion blitzer again is just add all of these ingredients in there. So I'll add in my onion, my garlic, my ginger, all of the juice from this lime, as well as my 200 mils of veggie stock. Then I will add in half a teaspoon of turmeric, two teaspoons of garam masala, one teaspoon of smoked paprika, and then I'm going to add in two tablespoons of my curry powder, along with a generous amount of salt and pepper too. Blitz this up for a few seconds in my onion dicer, and that is your curry base done. Like I said, when making this curry, I do then add, say, chicken to this, and then I'll have one tin of chopped tomatoes, one tin of coconut milk, and your curry is done. It's absolutely delicious, so easy. Great to pop in the freezer as well if you make double quantities and want to keep some for later. So these ingredients here are going to become a korma curry paste. So what I have got here is some garlic, I've got another big nub of ginger. Again, I've got a green chili, but obviously that's optional for you because you are gonna be adding some cane pepper. So the two together will make this a little bit spicy, but I will again take the seeds out of my green chili. I've also got some coriander here. Like I said, I've got cane pepper and I've also got garam masala. I've got some tomato puree, desiccated coconut. I've got some almonds here. So obviously these are whole almonds at the moment, but if you have um, ground almonds, that works just as well. These will just get blitzed up in my little um, blitzer that I've got. I've got some coriander, did I say that already? I'm not too sure. And I've also got some ground nut oil. This is what I just keep in my cupboards and I use for a lot of my curries. So with this, I'm just going to chuck everything into my little blitzer again. I'm gonna put in my garlic, my ginger, my green chili with the seeds out, and I'm also just going to take the stalks off of my coriander and just pop that in as well. I'm then going to put in half a teaspoon of my cane pepper, two teaspoons of garam masala, a tablespoon of my tomato puree, two tablespoons of desiccated coconut, and I'm going to put in 50 grams of my almonds too, along with five tablespoons of this ground nut oil. Again, I'm just gonna blitz everything up so it becomes a nice smooth paste. And there you have a very, very easy and simple korma paste. So those are my three curry paste recipes I wanted to share with you all. I hope you enjoyed them. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.